Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I'm Robin from DxO and in this video we explore the features of PureRaw 4 to get you started using the software. We're starting with the standalone version of PureRaw. We then need to open the RAW files which we want to process by clicking the icon to add files. When your files are imported you may see a message like this indicating Lens modules can be downloaded and saved. Click the Save button to start the download. The images are then displayed as thumbnails in the light box. The thumbnails are selected by default and clicking one toggles its selection status off and on. These icons are currently ordered by name, but we can change that by using the sort order icon. To the right of this is a filter icon which we can use to filter the files based on their processed state. This is useful if you're processing a lot of images. To add more images we can click the Add Photos to Lightbox option, or we can clear all the images from our lightbox using the link to the right of this. There's also a menu which includes the option to view the lens modules. Let's start by selecting a single image to process. I can then click the Process with Preview button. This displays an image preview with our chosen settings. The preview uses either a split screen or a full screen view. This can be controlled using the icons at the bottom. These also allow us to magnify the image, helping us decide which settings to use. Next are the optical corrections which we can apply to the image. Then below these are the output formats. We can even output all three formats simultaneously and aren't restricted to a single file. Next we can control where to save our new file as well as renaming it. Finally, there's an option to export the processed images to software like Lightroom and Photoshop, but you can also choose your favourite editing software. After choosing the settings to use, you can add the image to the process queue or process it immediately. I'll choose to process it now, which then returns me to the light box. Let's look at a second example. This time I'll use the process option. We now see the Process Settings dialog displaying the correction and output settings. Move your mouse pointer over these and you'll see an Edit button to change the settings. We then have the choice of adding the image to the process queue or processing it immediately. When the processing is complete we can view the results. Here we have icons to compare the before and after results. If I magnify the image to 200% you can see the superb quality produced by PureRaw. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website dxo.com.